we'll get there in the end. Hi guys, welcome once again to Our Life Switzerland. I'm up here making a noise, and, and Tanya's downstairs um, enjoying the Sunday morning. What's been going on? Um, yeah, we had a good day yesterday. We had um, um, we had a day of strawberry strawberry hunting. Um, we, we took a, we took a little bike ride, and off we went to the next village, uh, just down the road there. And they have some uh, they have some really well known famous strawberry fields. And you know, I have to say that you know I am a bit of a strawberry freak myself. I do like strawberries. Uh, I mean, who doesn't like strawberries? You know, in the, in the different variations, but. I have to say that I've never, I've never had strawberries as good as what I've had in Switzerland. The, the, the Swiss strawberries are, they're absolutely superb, they really are. Yeah, it's a fact also that um, Swiss strawberries are only for fresh markets. It's, everything is consumed within the country, so um, yeah. Well, let's go and take a look anyhow, let's go. <laughs> Mullen has an area of about 7 square kilometres. Of this area, about 45% is used for agricultural purposes, and with its population of about 3,900. Mullen claims fame with the National Heritage Site, a 17th century straw thatched farmhouse with barn, which was listed as a heritage site of national significance. Hey guys, welcome once again to Our Life Switzerland. My name is Ian. My name is Tanya. And today we're on the hunt again, we're on the hunt for strawberries. Uh, all we can see is a farmer in his tractor and he keeps giving me nasty looks because we can't find we can't find the entrance basically, but um, this this is now the strawberry field that we're just on the edge of. And it's oh, it's fascinating. Let's go and see. Is it gone? Oh my god. Okay. Let's go and take a look at some of those gorgeous ripe fruits. Uh, come on. Yeah, we're on the hunt for strawberries. That's what basically uh, today's theme is. Look at these strawberry fields forever. Sally, what do you think? Oh, that's a, my what's my dream? Your dream? Are you going to collect some strawberries today? Yeah, in my in my tummy. No, we have to take them home. You're going to make some jam. Uh, not in your tummy. Half tummy, half oh. uh, Half tummy, half jam. <laughs> yeah. oh, so, we're jamming. I want to jam it with you. Yeah, the, the idea is is to find out where the little farmer is because uh, obviously they give you the box and off you go into the fields and you pick strawberries of your choice and as much as you want. Just that when you leave, don't forget to pay. <laughs> While strawberries grow in all agricultural areas of Switzerland, they especially thrive at higher elevations between 400 and 600 metres above sea level. These fields sit at about 450 metres above sea level, thus perfect for the production of strawberries. Well, some of them are flowering, some of them are fruited, some of them are green and not ripe. Some of them are very ripe. Whoa, what was that? The only thing we need to do now is 
to get back on the bikes and try and find the farmer, try and find the entrance so we can get into the official picking area. Yeah, we, we're still actually, uh, we're not free from lockdown. It still is lockdown. Uh, the date today is, what's the date, darling? It's the 9th of May. Saturday, the 9th of May. And Monday, uh, the lockdown will be partially eased by the Swiss, Swiss uh, parliamentary prime ministers. And so we can go back to work. Enjoy this weekend. It's the last weekend, the last official week weekend of lockdown. And that's all we can do that we can celebrate with a strawberry champagne would be nice. Strawberry champagne. I wonder if it's a testing tasting. Strawberry jam, yeah. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, obviously it was great fun, we had a great day. I know there's a lot of people from Thailand that watch these videos because the, the videos are actually um, they're aimed for uh, Tanya's friends in Thailand. And I know that the Thais absolutely adore strawberries. And I've seen Thais making trips up to Chiang Mai um, purely to buy strawberries. But you know, I'm really sorry, but Thai strawberries are quite, quite small and you know they don't really have the, the taste you know the, the the european strawberries do have so i know that you guys from thailand you you enjoyed that video so um regardless where you're from which country um i do hope you enjoyed it and i do hope you're going to give us a thumbs up and i do hope you're going to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to give us a little bell there um give it a push any information about the channel any new postings you're going to be the first one to hear about it so hey guys thanks for watching and listening see you later